we are starting off a blank program as you can see on the screen if we check my program tags I'm having no tags to start with so let's start by creating our tags and the example I'm going to illustrate right now I will require a start input and since we have three boolean parameters if you remember the enable bit timer timing and done bit in a timer I'm going to see how they work through some discrete outputs light one light two light three and of course there's my timer so I'm going to change the data type for all these elements to boolean except for the timer as you can see by default once you create a new tag and Alan Bradley it shows it as double integer and among data types double integer is nothing but a 32-bit representation so t1 if I click on the plus sign to expand it you'll see it goes t1.0 all the way to 31 that's your 32-bit for t1 now since we are planning to use t1 as a timer all what we have to do is change the data type from dub double integer into timer right now basic basically you don't see anything over here however if you click on the plus sign you should expect to see the parameters that we have covered in, in the earlier video so preset accumulator enable bit timer timing and done bit and as you can see over here uh, the way that they are displayed in the program tags over here that's how the program recognizes them in other words t1 which is the timer name dot the parameter pre for preset accumulator and so on so forth right now these are the tags that we have created right now going to our program we'll create a new rank we're going on this rank to have an ex examine if close with the timer so favorite tab is the tab that includes the most commonly used instructions xic xio in uh, included and timer counter is three tabs to the right and these are the timers that we have seen we are going to illustrate in each video right now one of these timers so the first one is ton the next three rungs is going to have the same structure I like to copy and paste whenever I have similarity in the structure so control C control V two time three times okay uh, the first one we're going to have start it's the condition to trigger the timer as you can see any to anywhere see east to the left it means that something wrong in your program it needs to be addressed you don't have to download your program to see these ease so the timer if you remember that we call it t1 however let's assume we call it by mistake ti or t2 or any name that's different from what you have created in the program tags right now if i go ahead if i want to enter the value of the preset it won't allow me as you can see it's disabled the only way that it will enable this field for me is if i type in the proper timer name so t1 right now you can see the preset value is enabled let's go with 20 seconds for example and i commit always uh, start as a zero right now you can see in the first rung no more question marks are still uh, available that's why the e's disappear and we had created three boolean outputs so light one light two and light three and each one of them will be driven by one of the boolean parameters of the timer so remember the syntax goes this way timer name so t1 dot the parameter so en is the first one the second one is the timer timing let's assume that you forgot the timer name or if you have such a long name for the timer what you can do is double click on the question mark click on the down arrow and this will take you to the uh, tags that you have created so t1 dot tt see the is disappeared because everything is recognized in the in rung number two and the first the last one is t1 dot done bit this will trigger light three so this is the program let's go ahead and run this program and see how, how it works so we're going to, to download to check uh, if you have any errors in this program okay this, this is taking a bit more time than expected but that's fine so no errors because it's done downloading right now we go to run mode and in my watch list I'm going to have these elements so we have start you can see light one light two light three okay. let's focus the first rung right now please as you can see the xic referring to start is false because start is normally open switch it's reading zero over here anytime i close the switch so it reads one that's when this instruction is true and and this is what we meant when the timer is activated it will start timing starting from accumulator equals zero aiming to the accumulator to hit the preset value now this timer is non retentive in other words any time the input to the timer goes to zero this timer would go to zero will reset so one more time 
run this timer the input to the timer is true the timer is running the accumulator is aiming to get the preset value in the meantime you can see the enable bit follows the value for the start so one more time if i hit the, if I, the start goes to zero the enable bit goes to zero following it one more time right now hit the start this is true the enable bit is actually following it as you can see light one is on timer timing it means that the timing operation is in process it means that the timer is enabled and the accumulator is still less than preset value as long as this one is less than preset value timer timing is on once the accumulator hits the preset value that's when timer timing is zero because it's done timing there is no timing in uh, process and right now the flag that's telling us that the accumulator actually reached the preset value is the done bit and this is the one that's driving light three right now anytime i hit the start uh, the start goes to zero it's non retentive timer so uh, the, the accumulator goes to zero any boolean parameter goes to zero in other words in, a, in the ton instruction it's enough to break the rung that's controlling ton to reset this timer so hope that you understand the basic elements of the timer and how they work understanding that the en will actually follow the follow the state of the of the input and the timer timing to be true or to be energized two conditions have to be met the enable bit has to be on and the accumulator has to be less than the preset value and for the dumb bit to be on the enable bit has to be on and the accumulator has to be equal to the preset value so the, by no way there is no way that we can have the timer timing and done but on at the same time which kind of it makes sense right we cannot have the timer timing and done at the same time either it's timing and not done or it's done after it's done timing so if this timer is non retentive i guess you can guess the second timer we're going to see right now which is the rto then retentive timer let's go ahead Thank you.